This is a brand new 2015 Ford Mustang, but it's special, not just because it's orange, because it's the five liter, the one that puts out 435 horsepower. And coming up next, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take it for a ride. But before we do that, please check out our new sponsor, American Muscle. They're the guys who are gonna have all sorts of aftermarket parts for this Mustang when it hits your local dealership. But now, let's take this bad boy for a ride. First time behind the wheel of the 5 liter. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that booming V8. I like how it also lets you hold the uh, revs up high, you know? Yeah. But it does feel more powerful and heavier at the same time. Yeah. You know, like, this is much more of a traditional Mustang. This is what I've come to expect out of this car. I'm not saying it's not better. I'm just saying it's much more basher than Canyon Carver. And maybe it's my ability, you know? I mean, I'm sure if, if, if you could take this car and really take it by the scruff of the neck like you just did, then it might be fine. But I like the balance of the four for uh, these kind of tight turns. I, I agree. And, and, you know, again, with a car like this, you've got a much more really limited functionality. You've got to be on larger sweeping turns versus tighter, you know, fast transition turns and or going straight in, in a straight line. Then, of course, it's, it's great when you have a V8. But uh, I would rather have the ability to still be plenty fast in a straight line, which the 300-plus horsepower four-cylinder is, and tackle twistiest of roads with full confidence. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that one. And this engine's loping at two and a half thousand RPM. It's barely turning over, right? I mean, this yeah. is the kind of car that you'd love to take across the country. Exactly. As a, as a more of a of a GT, no pun intended, but, you know, as a grand touring coupe for a long distance road trip, this would be a great car. You have all the torque going over mountain passes, you know, hitting the Rockies, that kind of thing. It'd be fun. The interior of the 2015 Mustang is just much improved. Ford says that everything that looks like it's aluminum is aluminum and much more tastefully done. Soft touch materials, in fact a smaller steering wheel and you still have that classic double binnacle that Mustang has always been known for. One of my least favorite features though is unfortunately still here. There are some cheap plastics but overall Especially if you get these Recaro seats, you feel like you're in a car that, at least from an interior point of view, is punching above its weight class. Inside, you know, it's a lot nicer. It's a lot cleaner. I would say um, it's a lot more spacious. I mean, the thing about the Mustang, it's always been tight, right? It's always been like a tight glove. Yeah. It's never been a car that, like the Challenger, for instance, you know, you could put a family into and take it across the country. You can actually get in the back seat without yeah. being, a, you know, legless. Yeah. Yeah, this has always been more of the, the classic 2 plus 2. Uh, and that continues, obviously. Yeah. Uh, these Recaros, you know, for a big guy like me, they're pretty tight, but when you're in the twisties, you appreciate them. No, and, and you know, the interior layout, I think, is as clean as it's ever been in here, too. I, I mean, they can... They, 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 you know. <laughs> point and shoot, man. Yeah. Just point and shoot. <laughs> you know, the, uh, you know the, I love the dual kind of uh, pod interior, which they are pulling from the very first year Mustang, 65, uh, the, the two big circle gauges and the uh, vent controls, the big vents that have been in it for years. You know, the shotgun gauges, right? Yeah. <laughs> two barrels of a shotgun looking right. right at you. Exactly. You know, I think that if I were European and I was like into America, this is the one I get because this is the one that screams America. And uh, 
course, you know, their fuel costs are much higher, so that might be a reason to, to get the one that has the four cylinders and gets 32 mpg on the highway, but damn it, if you want something that's about as American as it gets, there is no other car that I can think of that represents, um, you know, American car culture as much as this car. Now, perhaps the biggest difference between the old outgoing Mustang and the new one is the style. I mean, there's a much nicer, much neater pinched rear end. You still have this, uh, well, let's call it a shark-like front fascia. And of course, you've got those classic Mustang proportions, the long hood, the fastback. It all works. Do I love it? Heck yeah, I love it. I think they did a great job in keeping the car current and yet harkening back to the 50 years of Mustang history. Well, you know, it's funny, Roman, because they've been talking very distinctively at the various events on, uh, on, this, on this press trip about how they kept it a Mustang. It's still a Mustang. We kept all the things that make it a Mustang. You know, I would argue with them. I would argue, especially on the four-cylinder, no, they did. They, they changed it. And you know what? That's okay. Yeah. They made it a better car. Yeah. The world around the Mustang has evolved. It was time for the Mustang to evolve, too. And there is no downside to the changes to it, but it does not feel like an old Mustang anymore. Even this V8 one, you can tell, is vastly improved, but the four-cylinder version, it almost feels like a different car. And you were just talking about the European potential. They're going to love it because it has all the cues from the horse emblems to the interior design and even the exhaust note, especially on the 8, but even on the 4, that make it the Mustang they all love. But they're going to get in it over on European's twisty roads on that four-cylinder one, and they're going to feel like this is this is an awfully advanced American car, you know, and it is now, but it wasn't up until now. For 2015, there are now three engine choices. Of course, this is the bad boy 5 liter. You can tell by these hood scoops. It puts out 435 horsepower and 400 pound-foot of torque. That's a little bit more than the outgoing model. And of course, that is way enough power to melt those rear tires, especially if you're using Ford's new feature that lets you actually do burnouts with the push of a button. My only regret, Carl, and this has been a hell of a fun trip, is that we didn't get to try the line lock feature. Yeah. <laughs> My only regret. And you know what? We are going to do it, but it's really, really dangerous and stupid to do it on a public road. And so... Uh, You're literally sending up smoke signals for the cops to follow. And we've had that happen today <laughs> once already. Yeah. So we're not going to press our luck. We, we, we got away with one police encounter. We don't know if we wanted a second. But I promise you, when we get this car to Colorado on the TFL racetrack, uh, we're going to melt those rear tires. So Ford, you did not hear that, but we are going to melt them. <laughs> you know, we live in a great time. There's just a plethora of great American muscle cars, or maybe sports cars, to choose from. Which of the Mustangs is the better one? I would say that if you want to go for canyon carving and track time, go for the four cylinder. However, if you want to do burnouts, you got to go for the five liter. As always, this is Roman Micah reporting for the Fast Lane Car. And please check out American Muscle, our new sponsor, because they will have all sorts of aftermarket parts for this car to make it go even faster. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Ciao. This is a brand new 2015 Ford Mustang, but behind me there are all sorts of other Mustangs from the 50 years of Mustang history. And I had a chance to talk to one of the owners recently, and as a matter of fact, he gets his aftermarket parts from these guys, American Muscle, the same guys that are sponsoring TFL cars. So check them out below and check out this interview coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. And Les, uh, tell me about uh, this Mustang that's behind you that is yours. Obviously, it's a Mach 1. But what year is it? It's uh, 2006, except okay. in 2006 Ford didn't make a Mach 1. So this is a V6 pony package car that I bought brand new. And um, when I looked at it, I looked at it as a clean slate that could be recreated as a Mach 1. I had a 69 Mach 1, so I knew where I was going with this. And uh, so two weeks into ownership, I took this over to Galpin Autosport and uh, laid out my plans for it. They did some of the work. Some of the work I did myself. I purchased uh, quite a few things from American Muscle that I put on this. And actually, the latest thing I just put on here is the sequential taillights in digital form. When I first did it, I did it with the bulbs. And those don't last too long because of vibration. The digital works really well. Walk me around it. Would you kind of show me the car? I love, sure. I love the louvers. 
Yeah, louvers. Uh, the the wing has been blacked out. The um, the stripes. This is all very reminiscent of a of a Mach one from back in the day. Um, redid. Put a little trim on the windows. I like your knockoffs there. <laughs> Thank you. Those, those are one of one. I created those myself. Nobody else has got them. Um, redid the interior to make it look like. Uh, the, more like the two-tone that they had in the Mach 1. Oh, nice. Look at that. Uh, the, the knobs on the uh, radio and so forth and on the uh, mirror adjustment, those all came from American Muscle. Uh, the mirrors are Agent 47, and those are very much like the racing mirrors that they put on the Mach 1. Um, I changed all the badging. As you can see, it now says Mach 1 on the side. Flatten, put uh, cold air induction in it. Uh, also put in uh, headers, a complete new exhaust system, flow through uh, MagnaFlow mufflers. The hood pins are functional, so th they work really well. Um, what else? Love I've done. Shirt, by the way, that's a great shirt you're wearing. Thank you. Okay. I uh, I attended the uh, the 50th anniversary show in Las Vegas and saw the shirt and had to have it. How does it run? Is it good? Sound it good? Runs good. Sounds really good. Um, start up for me? Sure. Let me go grab the keys. Oh my, that sounds so good. That sounds it, really good. It does good. sound a little different than it did when it came from the factory. <laughs> and you get up on the freeway and hit it, they know you're coming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the nice thing with everything that I've changed on it is I've actually increased my miles per gallon, both in city and on highway. On the highway without uh, traffic, I'm getting 33 miles a gallon. And how much horsepower do you think you're putting out now? <sighs> You know, I haven't dynoed it, but I know I'm close to three. It feels like it. It sounds like it. Well, thank you very much, Les. Appreciate the chance to check out your beautiful Mustang. Rebadged, redone Mach 1, right? Yes. <laughs>